Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to use SSH keys and cron to automatically back up a Linux PC to a Synology NAS. Now this is a follow up to our last video, so if you didn't see that one, I'll leave a link in the description. But in that video, we look at how to set up rsync so that you can back up a Linux PC to a Synology NAS. So this video builds on top of that and it allows you to actually authenticate in without a username or password uh, utilizing SSH keys and then automating that process using cron so that it could run on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. As always, I left a link in the description with written instructions, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to ensure that the SSH service is enabled, and you have to ensure that you can SSH in. So make sure that if you're using the firewall, you have a firewall rule set up so that you can actually connect in on the SSH port, which is 22. At this point, we have to create the SSH key on our Linux PC. And when you're prompted, just use all the default values and don't enter a passphrase. And once that's created, we're going to actually copy the public key to our NAS. So when you go to do that, it's going to actually ask you to authenticate in uh, using your NAS password. And when you do, you'll see that the SSH keys were successfully added. At this point, if you try an SSH in, you'll still require a password. And the reason for that is because we need to make a few file permission changes and folder permission changes on our NAS. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But if you want to see what changes we're making and why we're making them, please check out the written instructions because I have two links that explain exactly what these commands do. So after the permission changes are done, we're going to actually exit our SSH session and we're going to try an SSH back in. At this point, you shouldn't require a password. So if you set up everything properly and you're no longer being prompted for a password, you know that the SSH key was configured properly and you won't require a password moving forward. At this point, we're going to move on to actually automating an rsync command using cron, but you can actually set up cron to do pretty much anything that you want to do. We're just going to look at how to set up rsync in this tutorial. So to do that, we're going to enter a command to edit the tasks that are currently set up for cron. And at this point, we're going to have to set up our cron file so that our rsync command runs at a specific time. Now, cron is very powerful, and there are many different ways that you could set this up. Now, you could set it up hourly, weekly, daily, whatever you want. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to set it up so my Linux PC gets backed up to my NAS every single night at 2 o'clock a.m. If you'd like to see different examples for timeframes that you could set up cron, I have a link in the written instructions that will give you a bunch of different examples. So once you're done editing that file, you're going to save it. And when the time comes up that you configured, that command is going to automatically run. So at this point, you should be able to automatically SSH into your NAS without a password. And you should have cron configured so that your Linux PC automatically backs up to your NAS every night. That concludes our tutorial for today. If you had any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.